Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to the singer Ronnie James Dio. From what I've read, he was the frontman for a number of groups throughout his career, but I was told to start with the song Stargazer, performed by the band Rainbow. So, here we go. I already know I'm gonna get sucked in. Oh man, um, I I love so much about just even this video, like seeing the rainbow on top. Um, let's see, and the intro, the intro, of these drums. I, it was kind of I don't know. It was something different than I've heard. I'm, I mean, I know songs start with drums often, but I don't know. I just haven't heard it in a while, or I haven't heard it. Um, recently from this genre. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just <sighs> hang tight, y'all. <laughs> I feel like I'm in I'm in a mood today where I just might zone out, but we're going to we're going to rally. So, uh back to the beginning. We'll stop and start. Here we go. I think what I love about that intro is how well it sort of leads into that first drop of the beat, you know, with the, the instrumentals, the rest of the band coming in, because you can almost predict, you just already feel like you're in a groove, even though it seems a bit chaotic. I don't know. One more time. That voice, mm, it's got everything. If mm, typically when I'm when I think of male vocalists from this particular era, from this genre, you know, I love the balance. I feel like we get this amazing heady mix that gives us that screaming quality, but it's still really well grounded. The catch with his voice and why I imagine he has like so many fans is there's just this added depth to it. He doesn't go quite as heady, quite as forward with uh, that mix. So it still feels a little extra gritty, not quite as bright. And so it's got just the tiniest nuance that's so different from most of the singers that I've heard from this particular period. Let me go back. 
It's really prominent, of course, when he says the word noon, that helps to lengthen the vocal tract, which helps with those nice, warm or sultry or sounds. But you can just hear how much depth and richness is in his voice in that one word. the other thing i'm already in that tiny section i heard before going back to the beginning there was a lot of agility that we heard so i i'm very curious to know if he did a lot more of that either in this song or in other times in his career um but it's just those runs whether it's a quick turn or a, a run it's very smooth very smooth Where is your star? The texture that we hear in his voice, love it. That tiny, not even crackle, but just that grittiness, that little extra, like uh, that almost kind of like a fry. But you can hear how on certain words, he doesn't incorporate that as much. And again, he might do it later on in the song, but with those E vowels, um, and when you have something that feels very closed um, and very high, it's very easy uh, to feel very vulnerable. <laughs> um, oftentimes, you know, the larynx goes up higher and, and that's when you get those um, worries of perhaps strain or added tension if you're not really well aligned. And so the fact that he's incorporating more grit on open vowel sounds as opposed to these very narrow sounds. I don't know. I don't know if it's a choice, but I like it because it's a smart choice or it's a smart, you know, just um, habit, I guess I should say, in case it's not really a choice for him. But either way, it was great. One more time. <laughs> You can even just with the yes, a little bit more open. And then when he says believe it, that texture just kind of fades away a little. go back oh my gosh this is i'm never gonna get through this he does so many cool things the phrasing was incredible um just that beautiful powerful rich sound that he held through that note um what was it oh uh there was an a descending line i think that i i anticipated ending differently melodically and then he went up and changed the the note from what I was anticipating. So it was a nice little surprise. Uh, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. That turn, 
We got that little riff in there and then a gorgeous sustained note. <laughs> to learn so much more about this group. The, uh, at first I was thinking to myself, ooh, this is really like groovy, sort of psychedelic, but then as as the, the solo in particular, as that progressed, I feel like I'm hearing influences, maybe definitely more Eastern influence, I just, I don't know. I need to. I need to learn more about this group. It's just a very cool uh, shift that they made in the tonality of this piece, and now we're kind of getting back to the OG that we started with. It, but also, how incredibly talented! <laughs> like, I like. I'm glad. I don't know if this is a, an official video or anything like that, but I'm glad we were able to see him actually play uh, those notes. That was so. That was very cool. Here we go. The wizard, as he climbs to the top of the world, no sound as he falls. Instead of rising, time standing still, then there's blood on the sand. Oh, I see his face. Where was your star? I'm going to go back. When he says, oh, that is just, I love the sound he's making. I love his tone in conjunction with the width of his vibrato. It feels, um, I don't even know. I'm visually, I'm imagining some sort of movie set where, you know, I don't, whether it's a, something happens and it's kind of like, woo, 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 like a little sort of, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's got this sort of reverb effect, but also this ripple effect. I don't know how to even describe it, but the way the two are working in conjunction with one another, it's just creating such a beautiful sound. 
So we're gonna try, I'm gonna try and point it out. Listen to when he says, oh. Instead of rising, time standing still, then there's blood on the sand. Oh, I see his face. Where was your star? Was it far? Was it far? When did we I think we're getting an epic fade out here. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna try and just play the last minute or so. Those O vowels, I am obsessed with that sound. This is such, you know how sometimes you hear a song? Well, maybe it's just me, I don't know. Sometimes I hear a song and I think, ah, oh, they need to put this in a Marvel movie or something like that, you know, cause it's just that epic this one. I don't know. It's probably been used in something. I need to go find out what it is. But uh, it's it's got so, so many levels, so many dimensions. There are moments where I feel it's, you know, I really just need to focus and I really need to listen and kind of tune into what's happening. But then there are other moments where I feel like I can just rock out. And then meanwhile, you have these incredible vocal lines. Some of them were getting gorgeous phrasing some moments it's incredible textures and colors and um vowels that just blow your mind i mean there's so many elements to this that it's hard to pick one to latch onto i i can see well not only just from a first time listen why it's so great but obviously if i continue to listen to it i'm gonna pick up on even more and just yeah appreciate it that much more so Hopefully, hopefully I went back far enough. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. This reminds me. His diction. I have understood every single word in this. And I love that, especially when you're in a place um, in your voice where it can be, you're already worried about, you know, what sound is about to come out? Is it gonna hold the way I want it to? Am I gonna have the power and like the, the stamina that I want? And you have to coordinate all of that with really good diction. It's a lot going on. And I just even hear when he says, look, look, you can hear that aspirate, 
like K, what am I saying? You, yeah, you you get that breath after the K to help emphasize the, the ending consonant even more. One more time. Now, at first I wasn't sure if it was an official video, but it definitely looked more like a compilation. And so I don't know for certain if uh, the right clips were lined up with the right words, but what I did notice in watching was the cheekbones. He had this gorgeous posturing uh, where it had a, that tiny little, you know, inner smile. Um, it was just nice and wide, almost like biting an apple, and then he would either lower the jaw more or keep it in that neutral position. I just, I love seeing singers take advantage of that that space. Uh, the last thing I will say, his stage presence, I think that was probably the other thing that sort of elevated this clip for me. Again, I don't know if it lined up in the right places, but he had all of the clips, there was just this stillness. Um, and so, but an intensity. So you could tell he was still, you know, like rocking out, but he wasn't all over the stage. You know, he kind of had his moments where he was just, he was just in his groove, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. And it was, so it was very powerful to watch, um, especially in conjunction with the entire song. So, you guys will have to let me know. Um, I'm super curious about this band right now just because of this particular song. However, um, given the fact that he sang with so many groups, I imagine there are many, many, many other songs you would recommend. So you'll have to let me know where to go next. But yeah, I just love how rich his voice is. We still get that incredible rock scream like mix but with just a little added soulfulness and grounding I guess is the best way I can I don't know that's the best way I can think to describe it anywho that is it for today thank you guys so much for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time